Hi, this video is on how to take the derivative using the definition of a derivative. Well, here's the definition of a derivative. Um, what you need to do is take the limit of these two functions divided by change of x. The function, the first function is going to have x plus the change of x in it. The second function is just going to have x. And it's all going to be divided by the change of x as change of x approaches 0. So we're going to take the limit as change of x approaches 0. So first of all, we want to take the function and plug x plus the change of x into it. And to do that, we get 3 times x plus the change of x squared plus 2 times x plus the change of x. Do you see we just plug x plus the change of x into each of the x parts of the function. Next, we want to subtract just the function x. Uh, and here is our function x right here. So we are going to subtract 3x squared plus 2x. And don't forget, uh, at the end, I'm going to divide it all by the change of x. So I'm going to do that at the end. Um, what we need to do here now is take 3 and multiply it by x plus the change of x times x plus the change of x. x plus the change of x squared here. You have to write it twice and then FOIL it. Uh, here I'm going to distribute the 2 and I get a positive 2x and then 2 times the change of x is positive 2 change of x. Then I'm going to distribute a negative sign here minus 3x squared minus 2x. Okay, so we still have to FOIL here. x times x is x squared. x times the change of x is x change of x. These two multiply together, change of x times x. I'm going to put the x first is x change of x. And these two multiply together, change of x times change of x is change of x squared. Uh, and don't forget, we still have to multiply all that by 3. Uh, after that, we have all this we have to put there, plus 2x, plus 2 change of x, minus 3x squared, minus 2x. Okay, so now I need to distribute the 3. Uh, before I distribute the 3, I'm going to multiply the, or add these two together. 1x change of x plus 1x change of x is 2x change of x. So I take 3 and multiply it by x squared. Let me scroll this up a little bit. So I take 3 times x squared and I get 3x squared. I take 3 times 2, I get 6x change of x. I take 3 times change of x squared and I get 3 change of x squared. And then I don't forget I have the 2x plus the 2 change of x minus 3x squared minus 2x. So we pretty much distribute everything we can. Um, what I want to do now is try to combine like terms. <laughs> Look here, I have a 3x squared and a minus 3x squared. Those two cancel out. I have a minus 2x and a plus 2x. Those two cancel out. Um, so if you look what we're left over with, we're left over with 6x change of x plus 3 change of x squared and 2 change of x. Now I'm going to set all this uh, over change of x in our original limit. Remember we're taking the limit as uh, change of x approaches infinity. Um, if you notice, each of these have a change of x in them. So I'm going to factor out a change of x. If I factor out a change of x, 
this is what I'm left. I'm taking one change of x out. Uh, so this one's gone. This is one left over, and this one is gone. Uh, and don't forget, we're dividing all this by the change of x. Those two end up canceling. So we still are taking the limit of this as change of x approaches 0. I think I put infinity up there. If you look at the formula, it's it says as change of x approaches 0, not infinity. So it's change of x approaches 0. Um, so we're left with 6x plus 3 change of x plus 2. And we're taking the limit as change of x approaches 0. So this change of x approaches 0. Uh, so 3 times 0 is 0. Uh, when we finally did all the work, we have our derivative, and our derivative is 6x plus 2. That's taking the derivative using the definition of a derivative. It's a lot of work. Um, you should have learned that in algebra. You actually, we did this in algebra, um, and now you use it at the start of calculus. I hope this helped everybody. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, have a great time with this calculus. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I really need the subscribers uh, to keep this uh, channel going.